How to Replace a Gas Control Valve Brought to you by the Conservative Plumber Step 1. Turn off the water valve to the heater. Step 2. Relieve the pressure from the relief valve. Make sure to close the relief valve drain once the pressure is released. Step 3. Turn off the gas valve to the heater. And disconnect the gas supply line. Step 4. Disconnect the burner assembly. I like to start from left to right. Use caution when disconnecting the pilot supply tube. They have a tendency to get stuck and break. Step 5. Use the gas pipe for leverage and carefully remove the old gas valve. It is important that nobody tries using water during this step. The water heater is vacuum locked so using water will make a big mess. Step 6. Quickly install the new gas valve. Use a one half inch nipple as leverage to get the valve tight. Step 7. Reconnect the burner assembly to the gas control valve. This time starting from right to left. Step 8. Reconnect the gas supply to the heater. To avoid damaging the new valve, use a wrench to hold it while tightening the gas supply. Step 9. Turn the gas supply back on to the water heater. Step 10. Turn the water back on to the heater. Step 11. Turn on the hot water at a faucet to bleed the air from the water lines. Let it run until flowing normally. Step 12. Test gas line for leaks. Spraying a dish soap and water mixture works well. Just spray and look for growing bubbles. Step 13. Light the pilot light by holding down on the yellow pilot button while simultaneously pressing the igniter. This usually takes a few tries. Gas needs to make it back through the tiny pilot tube in order to light. Once the pilot light is lit, you'll need to continue holding down the yellow pilot button for 30 seconds. Step 14. Adjust to desired temperature. Step 15. Like, comment, and share this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.